Board Game Game Boards, the show where we give you the how-to and review of today's top games. I'm Lee. And I'm Tom. And today we're looking at... Castle Panic. Castle Panic is a board game where two to six players must defend their castle from the evil army lurking in the woods. The players work together, trading cards and playing their strategy in order to drive the horde back and keep their castle standing. But first we need to build our castle by taking a look at... Inside you'll find a square board of your castle and surrounding land. The board also features the order of play and the special monster rules. You'll also find player cards, monster tokens, castle wall and tower pieces, a tar token, fortify tokens, a six-sided die, and six order of play cards. Between the board and these cards, the game does not want you forgetting the order of play. Which is great because if you accidentally skip a step, you can't do it this turn. Now let's talk about pros and cons. Did you just skip how to play? Merlin's beard! So how do you play? First, you set the board by setting the wall and tower pieces on the light-colored section of the board, with the walls on the outside and the towers on the inside, just like a real castle. Next, draw three goblin, two orc, and one troll token. Place one token in the archer ring of each numbered section. Players choose which monsters go where, just make sure the highest number is pointed at the castle. Why do you do that? Because that's how you keep track of their health. When a monster takes damage, you rotate the piece so that the number facing your castle is one lower than before. Next, deal cards to each player, the number depending on how many are playing. Six cards of two players, five cards of three to five players, and four cards if there are six players. Since there's two of us playing, we each get six. Also, give one of the aforementioned order of play cards to each player. And there's no need to keep your cards secret, because you're working together, it's important to know what everybody has. But the process! Okay, so let me see your cards. No, no it see, is. Let me it see. Is. Next no. is the order of play! First is draw up, where you draw cards until you have a full hand again. So for us, six. You can discard and draw one card if you don't like the hand you're dealt. If only life was like that, am I right? Next, you can trade cards. You can only trade one card unless you're playing a six player game, then you can trade two. Now it's time to play cards. You can play as many or few as you want. Then you move monsters. Monsters outside the castle move one ring closer, but if they're already at the wall, they attack the wall, destroying it, and take one point of damage. And if you're unlucky enough to have a monster make it inside the castle, they move one space clockwise inside the castle ring. It's a nice place you got here. It'd be a shame if it got smashed up. They've broken through! Drive him back! <sighs> and finally, draw two new tokens. If it's a monster, roll the die and place them in the forest ring of the matching number. And if it's a monster effect, you perform the effect and discard the token. This can be moving monsters, drawing extra monster tokens, making players discard cards. Or having a giant boulder roll across the board and smash everything in its path. The boulder doesn't stop until it hits and destroys a wall, tower, or fortify token. So that's how everyone's turn will work. Now let's circle back and go over player cards. Circle? You mean like the process? Got him. Got him. Fantasy. Player cards are how you fight monsters. There are archers, knights, and swordsmen. They can only attack monsters in the ring of their name. There's also the hero who can attack in any of those three rings. These cards can only attack in the color noted around their name. But there are any color versions that can hit monsters in any color of their respective ring. And there are two cards that allow for instant slang. The Barbarian and the Nice Shot Enhancement card. There are also defensive cards that slow the progress of the monsters. You can rebuild a wall with brick and mortar, or fortify a wall to take one extra hit. And you will need them because there are special monster tokens called boss monsters. Wait, we already reviewed that game. Tom! <laughs> there are four types of boss monsters. The Goblin King is played with three bonus monster tokens. When the healer is played, all monsters regain one point of health. The Orc Warlord moves all monsters in the same color one ring closer, while the Troll Mage moves all monsters on the board one ring closer. The game ends when you slayed all the monsters and you win. Or the monsters destroy all your towers and you lose. 
but there's different game types that can keep things fresh. There's less panic, which makes the game easier, more panic, which makes the game harder, and Overlord lets one player control all the monsters. Or Solitaire, if you just want to be alone. Let's talk about some pros and cons of the game. The game is easy to learn with reference cards, notes on the board, and even a summary of all the rules on the back of the manual. You will never be left scratching your head trying to figure out what to do next. And the monster tokens also keep track of their own health, a mark of great design. However, the gameplay can get a bit repetitive, which can make the game feel boring, but only if you let it. At least once per game you have the chance of getting overwhelmed by monsters, so you have to work together and strategize. Plus, being able to play with six players is great for larger groups. Now, after playing a few times, you can really kind of get a feeling for how it's going to play out, but the variant rules help with that. But hey, what do we know? Go down to your local game shop and try it for yourself. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Board Game Game Boards. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other games you'd like us to review, and we will definitely maybe get around to playing them. Where are you going? Lee? 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 Where are you going? We came to save the castle, Tom. And it has been saved. But not for me. You don't mean that. You can't go. The last moves are for you, Tom. So I'll be player one. And why do you get to be player one? Because I have the hat. What hat? I have several options right in front of me, but I think I'll go to the village.